once you have virtual machine on GCP or AWS or Azure, or even if you have a bare metal server at your home, once the operating system is installed on top of it, especially Ubuntu 18.04, you should be able to set up the Docker. There are several advantages of setting up Docker. You should be able to create the databases that are required for practice and many other things. And hence setting up Docker is very, very important and can improve your productivity quite a lot. Let's understand how to set up Docker provided we have a machine with Ubuntu 18.04. I'll be demonstrating using GCP based virtual machine, but you can follow these steps once you connect to the console on any other cloud provider or on your own server, which you have bought or rented from somewhere. That being said, you can actually click on this link to get the instructions. This is DigitalOcean link. You can actually scroll down and you can see the title of this article. It is nothing but how to install and use Docker on Ubuntu 18.04. If you want to change the operating system, you can actually change from here and then take it further. But for now, I just wanted to follow this article, which is based on Ubuntu 18.04. First and foremost, you have to update the apt. Apt is the Ubuntu package manager. You have to update to make sure that all the required tasks are performed to connect to the latest repositories and start downloading and installing softwares from there. To run this, first we need to connect to the server. If you are using GCP, you can use the web console. By clicking on this, you should be able to connect to the web console. The pop-up is blocked. I just have to click on this so that it is opened in another tab. It will just take a moment. Once it is connected, we should be able to run that apt update command to update some of the prerequisites related to installing software using apt. Let's make sure that this is copied. You can also copy from here and then you should be able to run here. You can see that it is running. Meanwhile, we can actually copy this command. It will take care of installing some of the softwares that are required to set up Docker. You can run this. You just have to say why or you, even you can hit enter. If something is in uppercase, it is the default and hence we can say why or we can hit enter directly. Once this is installed, then we have to take care of running this command. This will prepare to set up Docker on this machine. Once this is run, again you have to update. For that, again you have to run this apt update command. Then you have to cache this uh, Docker CE policy. You can run this. It is cached. Now you can scroll down. This is where we are trying to install Docker Community Edition. Docker CE stands for Docker Community Edition. It will take care of installing Docker for us. It is saying uh, package Docker CE has no installation candidate. Okay, I think some step is uh, failed. You can see here, it has failed this one. That's why this is not working. Let us update once again. Still it is giving error, especially from Docker. The signatures cannot be verified. So I have to go back here and see if I miss any step. This is the one which will take care of uh, the signatures, I guess. Let me run this once again. It is taken care. Now let me run this. I think this is the step which is missed earlier. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just running again. So first apt update, then run this, then run this, then run this. This is successful. Last time it failed, now it is successful. Now I should be able to update. I think even last time it was successful. This is the step which it failed. Yeah, now it is also successful. Now you should be able to cache the policy. Now it is working fine. I think last time I missed this step. You just have to follow these steps and it should work. Now we should be able to install Docker CE. Hit enter. By default, as Y is capital, it will be accepted. Otherwise, you have to say N to discard. It will take a bit of time to install Docker Community Edition. Once it is installed, we should be able to use sudo to actually manage the Docker containers on this machine. We'll go through those steps also once the installation is done. Meanwhile, we can go to this page and you can actually copy this command, which will facilitate us to validate whether the Docker is up and running once the installation is done. Now the installation is done, we should be able to run this command called a systemctl status docker and you can see that it is running. We can hit ctrl c to come out of this. Now the docker is set up on this machine. 
However, you can only run Docker commands using sudo. For example, if you try to see what all containers are running at this time, you can say docker ps, but it is saying permission denied. If you say sudo docker ps like this, it will work. To avoid using sudo to run any docker commands, we can actually add the user which is being used to login to the docker group. Once it is added to the docker group, we don't need to use sudo like this. So let's understand how we can actually add this user to docker group. Again, you can go back to this article. You can see the command here. So dollar user is a special environment variable which is available as part of the Linux environments. If you say echo dollar user, it will actually give us the username using which we have logged in into this virtual machine. Using that approach, we can use this command called as user mod and we can assign group called as docker to the user that is logged in. So I can run this command and it will take care of adding the current logged in user to docker group. Now it is added. You can exit from here. You have to restart the session. You don't need to restart the virtual machine. You just have to restart the session. Once you exit, you can again expand this and click on open in browser window. It will open uh, the Linux terminal as part of the browser. It is also called as web console. Once it is connected, now we should be able to run commands such as docker ps without using sudo because the user dgadiraju is added to the group docker. Now I am connected. I should be able to run docker ps command. You can see that it doesn't throw any error. It just didn't return anything. As we do not have any containers, it just didn't return anything. Let's go back to the material. To conclude this topic, we'll also have to validate docker by creating simple hello world container. You just have to run one simple command to actually start the container. It is nothing but docker run hello hyphen world and you can hit enter. It will download the hello world image from the docker hub repository. It will just run the container and you will see the message here, hello from docker. This is primarily to validate whether docker is working or not on this machine. To validate the details with respect to the containers and images which are the core components of docker, you can run commands such as docker ps. However, it will not return anything because as of now it is not running. It just throw that message and then went into the stopped state. To actually get the details about all the containers that are there at this time, both stopped and running, you can use this hyphen a and you should be able to see this container. Also, you can actually say docker images to see the image related to hello world. As we are able to use this docker run command and pull the hello world image and also use it to print this message, it actually takes care of the validation of the docker that is running on this machine. So make sure you run this command and confirm that it is running without any issues. As we have done with respect to setting up of the docker and also adding the user logged in to the docker group and also validated the docker by creating hello world container. Now it is time for us to go to the further topics related to the course which we are in.